A very big shout out to the one and only Rington akiwa hapo na Gloria Muliro manze wherever he is Rington asema endo chama na gospel industry <laughs> sijui inakuaje anyways kama una agree na hiyo story then ni sawa alitoa ngoma mpya pia inajiita kupigwa mawe kama hujaicheki make sure you get to youtube we check your love tujue ni aje ni aje so uh, kama ka if you're joining us right now kama ka uh, this GBS Friday entertainment and you already know how we do this each and every Friday from 7 a.m. all the way to 10 a.m. so nilikuwa nimeuliza like uh, last time uh, nilikuwa nimeuliza kati ya Eunice Njeri, Masi Masike Gloria Muliro and mngependa nani ya kwe live leo and guys really voted and uh, I am so thankful I'm so grateful that I managed to f- get the two of them and right about now we are going to connect to the one and only Gloria Muliro so keep your message or keep your questions coming manzi swali so, watu ungependa sana uh, madam Gloria Muliro ajue akwa na respond make sure una text up of you via our whatsapp up of you na pia our SM, uh, WhatsApp number iko hapo hivyo kwa screen then nitakuwa namuuliza pia live and direct so i know she is uh, such a inspiring she is a spiritual mother to many of you as well so right about now you guys are ready for the one and only Gloria Muliro in the building hello hello habari asubuhi mzuri sana good morning Morning to you. Mm-hmm. Yes, welcome sana to our show. Thank you. And uh, we are so glad to have you. Thank you. I'm so glad that you could have me this morning and I just want to say good morning and praise the Lord to everyone who's watching. Yes. Thank you for tuning in. Yes. Yeah. Well so our uh, first things first. Uh, the previous song which played uh, like a uh, you featured uh you featured who a uh, willy paul and then uh, a fan one of our top fan on facebook called ben murioki he said mm. watching the show watching the show can gloria tell us what she thinks of will paul and the contra- eh, controversies eh, is a controversies mob he is in in currently eh, is he currently in the gospel industry we hii hii miss hezi kujibi utasemaje um thank you for that question first of all that's a good question and it's a question that um, inaonesha kwamba this is someone who is uh, following Willy Paul's um, life and uh, he, they know what's going on yes and so the first question anauliza what do i think about Willy Paul I think Willie Paul is a child of God. Amen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think Willie Paul not I think. He is. Actually I know ah. Willie Paul is a child of God and what I think about him I think good of him. Hmm. I think the best for him and I pray for him. All right. So let's As, say whether he is in the gospel or uh, or not I think that's for him to say because um I don't want to judge. You know, the Bible warns us against judging. So, well, based on what he's doing on the outside, it appears as though he's not, but I don't know how his heart is with the Lord. You know, one of the reasons why God warned us in the Bible not to judge is because um because people repent and God forgives. Because the Bible says in 1 John 1:9 if you confess your sins he is faithful and just forgive. So sometimes we can be busy saying oh he is not he's not in the gospel anymore but he mended his ways with the Lord. By the way for your information uh will fall up, was it two days ago he released a song that we did with him like three years ago it's a worship song. We did this song with him about three years ago and so he released it the other day. I don't think anyone can be standing for God if they don't have God in them. All right, I was coming to that. Like 
even me i knew he song is song hawajafanya na hawajafanya na e during this time i just had to think that yo ilikuanga last time lakini akaona post sai but kwa wale hawajui maybe uh, umeiweka wazi now they know anyways uh, how are you coping up with your fans especially uh, this pandemic period um how i'm coping with my fan well things have changed and this pandemic period has affected everyone as we all know and uh, well my 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 ministry was going a lot going to the people a lot but then because of this social distancing and and uh, and the curfews and stuff and the lockdowns it has limited a lot um a, a lot of things but that does not mean life has not continued life has gone on and i can i cannot say oh i could not do this because of corona no and and i just want to encourage everyone who uh, is listening or maybe watching me right now please usiseme corona ikiisha nitafanya hivi just do it just do it life has to move on no matter what comes our way life moves on if you are a singer go to studio record songs i've been in studio actually and i'm working on new projects so me corona has has limited me in some ways yes but life has moved on because I've, i i have still lived my life i've still been able to connect with my fans i've still been able to to uh, I mean to speak to my fans and to give them hope through the other platform that God has given me and uh, so I've been able to connect with my fans on Facebook on Instagram on YouTube and stuff like that and so um to answer your question I have been able to connect with my fans and, and by the way maybe I need to say this now uh now that you've asked that question <laughs> uh, like I said one of the things I've been doing is just giving people a message of hope um in different ways and so what what one of the things i'm doing right now and currently is that i'm encouraging people to forward to me their testimonies of what god has done in their lives through the ministration of my songs and the reason why i did that is because a lot of times and every day i receive messages i receive um testimonies in my inbox and people tell me oh gloria your song dio yako your song nasbisha has blessed me muniachi has blessed me you know matokeo has blessed me and so i just thought how about i bring this uh testimonies to a platform where many other people can read them and be encouraged so i am speaking to someone who has a testimony someone is hearing me right now and they know that uh, by listening to narudisha my song god did something in their life someone is listening to me now and they know where mbiyako has brought them from someone is listening to me now and they know where huniachi has brought them from and several other of my songs so please if you have a testimony a living testimony of how god has blessed you and and, and what god has done in your life you never know uh how that testimony can touch a life how, the bible says we are comforted so that we can comfort others so with the same encouragement that god has given us there is a platform here for you to be able to share your testimony and encourage someone else because someone somewhere needs your testimony to be able to be encouraged i know you're looking at the word and it's like no no, no. anyway so, <laughs> so allow me to tell you if you have a testimony please inbox me that means you have to maybe like my page and then inbox me ama unitumie kwa whatsapp ukitaka ni dapata namba ya whatsapp all right all right i wasn't looking for the watch cuz your fans requested to have you here <laughs> Well 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 talking about coping up with your fans and platforms and so forth like why why do you prefer Facebook as the main platform why not going live at Instagram or YouTube Well I've done that I've gone live on Instagram before uh and I've, I I haven't gone live on YouTube but that's the next thing uh but why why do i do a lot of live i've done a lot of live by the way on on facebook but that's because i have a bigger following 
on Facebook. Of course, I have following on Instagram as well, and people have subscribed to my channel. But Facebook page, my fan page has a bigger following, and I think uh, I need to minister to that big following, you know? Yes. So, but that does not mean I'm not active in my other platforms. I am. So, uh, just in case someone doesn't know what I've, what I've been sharing, what I've been sharing and what I've been, I've been up to all this corona period, please like my page. Follow me on my page, like my page, and I'm sure you'll be able to follow on my timeline. You'll be able to follow everything. And I know God is best. All right, all right. Thank you for that. So uh, one more thing, like uh, I know you do, you like posting like uh, some of the quotes let me say biblical quotes. Well, what's your favorite quote? My favorite quote, well, my, my fav well, let me say about the Bible. <clears throat> One of my favorite verses in the Bible is Romans 8, 28, which says, all things work together for good for them that love God and them that are called according to his purpose. And why I love this verse is because... Um, we are, we are in the world, we are under the sun, and, do, and this world has, you know, the, the Bible says you, you face tribulations. So this, we are living in the world that is full of tribulations, full of things that happen to us every single day. But there is hope, because the Bible says, in all these things, okay, all these things will work together for good. As long as you're a child of God, you're a believer, you love God, you have faith in God, no matter what you go through, it will work out for your good. Oh. So we have a living hope. All right, all right. That's so inspiring indeed. So our viewer, in case you're joining us right now, Kamaka, this is GBS Friday Entertainment. Manze, you already know how you do this each and every Friday from 7 a.m. all the way to 10 a.m. and... Right now, online, we're having the one and only a Gloria, Gloria Muliro. <laughs> well, well, well. So uh, make sure if you're having any questions, keep them coming. On Facebook now, now already guys are really sending so many questions and on WhatsApp as well. But maybe to, uh, to start with, uh, I want to ask you, like we have in our Facebook fan, it's called pa Patricia Nasike. Uh, Patri Patricia Nasike watching all the way from Kampala. She is, she is a great singer. What inspired her to write good music like that? Well, she goes to an extent of saying, I do gospel music here in Uganda with my hubby. <laughs> Is she willing to give us a collab? Kindly, uh, Gloria. Wacha tu nianze na yoso alia about collab. I always, my first question to everyone who asks me a collab is always, why do you want a collab? For what purpose? Because we don't just do things. You don't just wake up in the morning and say, I want to do this, or I want to do this, or, you know. I, I, so um, a collaboration is not just a matter of someone asking, would you be willing to give me a collab and me saying yes. It's more than that. <laughs> you know, it's more than that. Yes. So, you know, almost says, two cannot work together unless they agree. So there's always an agreement, not just in saying yes verbally. There's always an agreement in many other ways for a collaboration to come out and a collaboration that will glorify God. And, and so a collaboration needs to be purposely for giving glory to God. But unfortunately, I don't want to say that's her reason, but unfortunately in many cases, you'll find that people have tried to, um, to rise, people have tried uh, um, you know, to make it in the ministry and they're having a problem, they're having a trouble, it, it looks like nothing is working out. And so a collaboration normally looks like it's an easy way to make it. I don't know her reason, but sometimes that's the, the case where you hear people say, oh, I, I've struggled, please help me, please hold my hand. By the way, I've held people's hands in many different ways. 
there are several people that have mentored and not necessarily doing collaborations with them. So to answer that question, um, it, I, I wouldn't say yes and I wouldn't say no at this moment unless we talk. And, and you know, it's, it's, it's more than that. I think you, are, you understand what I'm saying. Yes, sure, sure. Okay? Yes. Yeah, you, you know, let me give you an example. You, where you live, look at this scenario. If someone just came to your house and knocked and said, oh, um, uh, would you be willing to house me? Would you be willing to? You know, <laughs> much as you are born again, you love God, and the Bible encourages us to, to welcome strangers, but also the Bible tells us to be wise. You know? Yes. So, yeah, um, there was another question she had asked, what inspires me? What inspires me is what I have in the inside of me. The Bible and the Word of God, the Word of God and, and um, you know, the Holy Spirit are my inspiration. The Bible says that the one who is in me is greater. So it, it's, it's what I give what is in me. I all, just get up. What is in me? All right, so, all right. All right, all right. I hope now she had it well from you. Well, uh, I'm so much sure you have been in so many events uh, before, maybe let's say about Corona. <laughs> well, what's your memorable like event or concert? The event or concert that I can't forget. There are several, but let me just say one. This one was in Kisumu in the year 2013, and I was uh, I was working with this corporate that they used to do. Uh, used to we used to do um, um, what uh, we used to do concerts around the country. So this time round we had gone to Kisumu, and we had been warned. We had been warned that Kisumu, the crowd is normally rowdy. Blah blah blah. So I just, well, I made a prayer because I know I'm a vessel and I cannot uh, use myself. So I prayed about it. And then when I went on the, um, on the, on the stage to, me, to, to minister, I wouldn't say to perform. When I went on stage, well. heavens just opened. And then uh, the Holy Spirit took over. And now that's one of those moments I, remember, I can vividly, vividly remember. That was not me. That was just God. The Holy Spirit at work, and the stadium was full. Was full more than I think it was more than twenty thousand people. And at some point, I just stopped the band, the dancers. I just stopped everything, and I started to preach. And then, when I said, when I did an altar call, I said I, I did an invitation for people to give their lives to Christ. You know, I was so shocked. <laughs> that three quarters of the crowd, I saw hands go up until I was overwhelmed. And then I said, I just looked up and said, Lord, the Bible says when you're lifted, you draw men to yourself, and that's what you've done, receive that glory. And then I led them to Christ. So yeah. that's, that's what, one of the, the concepts I remember. Amen, amen. Maybe just to ask, end year 2019, kumbuka ulivuka mwaka which event? <laughs> And yeah, I was in Bungoma. Okay. I was in Bungoma. Well, so... I was, I was in Bungoma. All right, all right, all right. Getting uh, from on Facebook, on Facebook, uh, I see... Who is... G Edward Gidi is saying, Salimia mom, apo mwambia akimaliza interview, interview nitamkol. <laughs> all right, all right. Ah. Edward Gidi, thank you for staying tuned. Wycliffe. Okoth, ask her which is her best song among her songs and why. No, let me not answer that question. <laughs> That's a hard question. Whoever asked that question, that never a question. Because all, if I just say I love Narudisha, it, it means that <laughs> means that maybe I love the others less. But I think every song is special. Every song is special in its own way because God has inspired every song and it has ministered in different ways to different people. And so every song is special in its own way. All right, all right. You know, regarding to that, I was also to ask you, like, what's your favorite song on your Tumaini album? So <laughs> you mean I don't need to ask as well? <laughs> I, 
I find it hard to answer that question because I'm like, whoa, I mean, there's just something special about every song. All right. Just like you're asking parents, which is the favorite of your children, <laughs> and they're all your children. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure and I'm pretty aware of your new, uh, your new uh, music video. Uh, look uh, to Jesus. Yeah. Well, so can you briefly talk about it? How was the reception so far? And yeah. The reception is amazing because, you know, this was a timely message and this a lot of times when you're connected to God, he'll give you a timely message. So this was a timely message for this year. And when God gave me this song, I didn't even know Corona was going to happen. But see, this in this season, um, the world needs to be reminded to look to Jesus. Because, you know, at, it's at such a time that people are tempted to look different directions. People are tempted to look to uh, maybe their spouses, People are tempted to look to different directions that cannot give them a solution. So this is a message that reminds people there is a solution in Jesus Christ. He is able to make a way where there seems to be no way. So look to him because when everything else fails, Jesus will not fail. So faith never fails. God never ignores faith. So when you direct your faith to God, it will bear fruit and God will come through for you. But when you, when you panic and when you worry and when you direct your faith to a human being or direct your faith to other sources that, are not, that will not give you a lasting solution, you will fail. And so this is a message that reminds people and the world to look to Jesus as the only solution, even in this pandemic and in all other situations, God is our ultimate solution. All right, that's so powerful indeed. So uh, one more thing, like uh, uh, w w apart from maybe, apart from interviews and so forth, what else are you doing to promote or to boost your music videos? What else am I doing to my music videos? Yes. I am requesting you people to play them. <laughs> <laughs> and I am requesting uh, the people who love my music to please subscribe to my YouTube channel, to please like my page on Facebook, Gloria Muliro. To please follow me on Instagram. To please uh, download my music on your skiza. By the way, <laughs> see, I just do that now. All <laughs> right. Anyway, am I allowed? I need to ask that. Well, do. Am I allowed? Well, well, it's your show. Just do it. <laughs> so. Um, my listener, my viewer, wherever you are, I want to really appreciate God. Kuna watu sahi, labda alikuwa atoki ya mahali, but amesema tu, juni gloria, wacha tu ni I appreciate God for you, and God richly bless you. And before I even request you to download my song and to give you the code, I want to, I want to, to tell you that God loves you, and I'm praying for you that God will come through for you in everything that you may be going through now, if you have woken up with a prayer, may God answer that prayer in the name of Jesus. If you are experiencing a night in your life, may God come through for you. May God give you a song even in that dark, darkness. May God give you a song in the night in the name of Jesus. Amen. May God answer you. God wipe your tears. May God come through for you. May God prepare a table for you before you in the presence of your enemies. In the name of Jesus, may God fight your battles. I hope you're saying amen because so shall it be. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hey, that is so and powerful. Now, now, take your phone and, and simply dial on your phone. Sir. Uh, yep. uh, you know what I'm thinking? You know what I'm thinking right now? So I want them, I, I will not tell them which song this is. So he called Nakupatia Weka Kwa Simuyako and then. If you shall letter in the window, you can letter. 
let them text you. Kuna namba ya ku text kwa studio? Iko iko. Yes. 2114. So they, they can text that number and then the first message I don't know come on like the first message or the tenth message that comes in I want to I want to give them credit. I want to give them airtime. All right, all right, all right. Proceed I'll laugh if they be doing that. Okay. So take your phone and dial star 811 star 345 hash. All right. And again then you call. Star 811 star 345 hash. And then you call. All right. Don't all don't right. say don't be tempted to say the name of the star. So <laughs> Okay, tell me, do you want the first message that comes in? I'm at the message number what? Well, the first message popping in. So, viewer, umepata ni songani, imekuja kwa simi yako, text to that number. And then you will tell me, alafu, mwenye ata win, we will get in touch, intaftumia credit yaka. Sasa, siti ni wapea credit ya, how much is the... Hey, hey. Hey. You suggest you are perfect. How much? Well, I'm not, but I know you're full of God's blessings. Even one K is not <laughs> bad. <laughs> now, okay, so let me just bless someone with credit worth one thousand shillings. All right, all right. Just the the first one that to send the message in. Yeah, the all first one to send the message in, they win one thousand shillings. All right. Word of credit. All right, all right. Thank you for that. Maybe, you know, the previous question came up actually because I saw on your uh, social media platforms you're also running uh, like a dance competition whereby you gave out 10,000. You mean 10,000 Kenyan shillings? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, you want me to talk about that? Just a little bit. Um, okay, you know, God has given me a, a passion and a desire to, to give hope to people and to encourage people, even in their, in, in their humble beginnings and stuff. And so I thought about, um, God gave me an idea and I said, why, how, why not um, I do um, a dance competition to encourage someone, one, to discover talent because people are talented. And me, I can, I can sing. I may not be a professional dancer, but I can sing. Someone else cannot sing, but they are a professional dancer. Why not give them a platform to uh, showcase what God has put in them? And then why not encourage them uh, by just appreciating the effort? You know, so I came up, I came up with a look to Jesus uh, challenge and it ran for about a week and it ended and the winner walked away with 10,000 shillings but again it was really a touching event for me and encouraging for me because I, I realized I got to learn um, a lot about some of these uh, dancers they were they are involved in charity and so I encouraged them you know they, it, it's just amazing so it, it was, it was a, um, a dance challenge that was just aimed at discovering talent and encouraging them. All right. And I achieved that. All right. A very big shout out to you for uh, giving such an incredible platform for our dancers. Anyways, our viewer, wherever you're watching from, uh, we are right connected with the one and only Gloria Mulero. And as you've heard by yourself, make sure you text the skiza tune. Eh, wanakumbuka kweli? Aisha come, Nambu Aisha come. Kindly let me know who was the first one to send so that we can mention him right here or her uh, as the one and only uh, sponsor. Oh, Achan is to me, Ojin. Gloria Muliro is listening. Anyways, uh, one more thing. <laughs> yeah. One more thing as we wait for the message. And um, well, what do you have to say about uh, this uh, gospel industry? One of the artists came up some previous days and said like uh, 
au wa, waimbaji wa gospel wa wamejifunika tu na ngozi eh ngozi ya nini ngozi ya kondo ndani ni umbwa mwitu was that really a good approach or something <laughs> well if we, if okay on behalf of let me say this on behalf of every gospel minister who is ministering through song in whatever way we have failed in whatever way we have not been good examples to you please forgive us we are only human oh, oh. please don't throw stones on us we are only human and it's only jesus who we also look up to he helps us in our weakness he loves us in our weakness please do not expect us to be perfect only christ is perfect so please have mercy on us we have fallen short of the glory of god but god has mercy on us the bible says his mercies are new every morning so i i i i ask you to forgive us and i ask heaven to forgive us and that we we may be found um uh worthy in the presence of god so please do not be very fast to judge when when one one of us fails or when you hear something about any of us uh we we also struggle we are human we also struggle but god god is merciful to us and you see the only reason why sometimes we we have we we have thro- uh, stones thrown at us is because you know we are seen there we are like standing on a on a hilltop where everyone can see us you know so please uh, just bear with us we are working out our salvation just like the bible says but don't be very fast to throw stones I, i'm reminded right now of a story of that woman who was brought to jesus and people were holding stones ready to throw to stone that woman to death and jesus said if any of you any of you has not uh, done any sin be the first to throw a stone so i think this is the time for us to look at ourselves before we throw stones how are you with god amen 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 so uh that was so powerful indeed uh for those who don't know so uh the first i'm told the first one to send the message to enter the skiza tune is uh the number goes by plus 254 727 hey, no, it you're reading the story you're reading the number on air <laughs> no i'm not going to complete it then the message said you have successfully downloaded skiza tune look to jesus the tune will be renewed at case one bob daily to manage all right all right so uh sijajua jina yake but we be finding him or her out in a few anyways uh thanks sana manze kwa oh a very special thanks for you to join us in this morning show so right now many kenyans are watching us live on tv and also on facebook maybe i'm giving you like three seconds to pass a quick message to kenyans as far as this pandemic is concerned Well, three seconds isha isha vile tu umemaliza kuongea three seconds imesha isha acha kwa mchoyo hata Kenya zona kutaka how can you give it three seconds there are but anyway i i understand time is gone but Kenyans um i just want to encourage us to to look to Jesus um and, and thank you for everyone who has downloaded that skiza tune because what that does is that every person who calls you they are reminded to look to Jesus as our ultimate solution so god loves us as a nation the god who has always come through for us in every situation we've been in the past even now he's still on the throne god has not left us god the bible says he's god for us he is not god against us so even when things happen that we don't understand let's remember God is not God to be understood he's God to be believed God wants us just to believe in him not necessarily to to understand him but just to believe and like i said Romans 8:28 all these things will work together for our good 
someone is listening to me and watching me and maybe your business is down because of corona maybe your 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 i mean maybe you're even in hospital the other day a friend of mine was reaching out to me and she was telling me imagine i have this covid and i'm in hospital maybe you're watching and you're not or someone you know you know is in hospital maybe you you you've lost your job or maybe your salary has been slashed I want to to leave you with Joel 2:25, and I want to tell you that whatever has been eaten from your life by locusts and even by Corona, the Lord will restore. Say Amen, because He's a God who restores. He will restore you, even if it seems like there is no more hope. There is hope for everyone who has faith in God, because, like I said, God never ignores faith. It is faith that gets the attention of God. So if you've been crying, you have been uh, lamenting, you've been asking questions, it is time for you to change that to faith and tell God, I don't understand what is going on. I don't know what else to do, but God, I believe you and I know you'll come through for me. God loves us and God will come through for you. Please, as I go, um, like my page on Facebook, Gloria Muliro, please sub subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please follow me on Instagram and invite your friends as well to do so. And the Lord richly bless you. And amen. That was so powerful, so powerful indeed. Yani, tuna, tuna hope sana tungekuwa na more time with you, but we can once again uh, arrange so that we have you line, we have you next time, but even physically, story a video call. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so I'm told the winner is, uh, he has, because he's already tuned, he has sent the name, is Jackson Kimeu from Comarock. A very big shout out to you, bro. Congratulations. Let me say congratulations, Jackson Kimeu. God bless you and may you always win. <laughs> Forever. Anyway, thank you all for, for that, uh, for, for downloading my song. I really, really appreciate you. All right, all right. So thanks, Anna Manze. Right now, playing on air is the one and only a new song by Gloria Mulero, Look to Jesus. Look to Jesus. Amen. <laughs>